All right, because our goal, we're trying to help 100,000 people, y'all. And we only at, shit, since 2019, maybe 7,000, something like that. So <laughs> we got a long way to go, man, right? We got a long way to go. Let's go. This took about five months. They went from like a 560, 570 to this. Took, took about five or six months. Um, is it true the bureaus ignore thousands of disputes daily? And if that's the case, how can we succeed? Yes, they do ignore thousands of... Um, that's those, um, those stall tactics that, that, that we talk about, that I talk about a lot. You know, those automated computer uh, responses that you get that says, hey, we got your dispute, but we don't think this is you or send in some more information or blah, 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 right? And we succeed by not using oversaturated letters, number one. Number two, we update our personal information. Number three, we, we update our, uh, our inquiries not attached to open accounts. Four, we're opting out of secondary bureaus, right? We're doing all the steps first before we even start disputing to make sure, you know, that, that they're actually going to uh, read our disputes and do the investigation and do, do what they need to do. If the stuff is removed, will it come back? No. Items getting reimported, that does happen from time to time. If a, if a company tells you that never happens, they're lying to you. Okay, that's, that's part of the game. It happens from time to time. But we can get those accounts removed again. But if you claim identity theft, those items always come back because if you claim identity theft and those accounts are actually yours, when they when they do their investigation, those items always come back. That's not what we do. We use the law. We use factual disputing consumer law and Metro 2 to get these items removed from your account legally. I have done all and I can't remove late payments. Can you help? Yeah, Enox, let's work. But if you want to dispute that stuff yourself, 